Hey everybody, it's Demo here. So in today's video I want to talk with you my fellow barbarians about the current state of the game and about the current state of a barb. And my fellow friends I have unfortunate news to you. So pretty much every barbarian hater are also very welcome by the way because you would get to know a little bit more, more stuff about barbarian as the whole. <laughs> but listen, there is no need to be hating. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna tell you the truth reality of a barb. Um, this, like, pretty much my opinion is not gonna be biased in any way, shape or form toward any class. It's just gonna be the reality of the um, today's uh, barbarian in the current day and age. So pretty much before I start explaining how does this thing works, this is how much of experience I have playing this game. 3000 of playtime, including, does not that doesn't include probably another 4 or 500 hours that came from the 5 playtests which happened like a year ago. So this is Barbarian, right? This is what we have. We have a decent amount of health, we have fairly good amount of move speed, but only when you build your Barbarian to be very fast. But um, we, let's not talk about the gear set that you could make you pretty fast. Let's talk about the current state and the attributes that one, you could get on the pieces and two, that will make the um, other classes really freaking strong. For example, on a tunic, on armor pieces, you could get a lot of health, maybe a little too much. Wonder Attire. This piece alone will make Rogue a better class than a Barb. A Wonder Attire could get up to 6 health while also offering you a lot of dexterity. So pretty much what does Barbarian have? Barbarian have a little bit of health, but as a class it's very slow, it doesn't have really anything. So if you want to make your class fast, you would have to contribute a lot of gold to make it half decent. And if you don't, well your class is going to be pretty slow. And when you're slow, pretty much you're going to get infinitely kited around by every single class in the game. So now we're going to get to the topic. The infinite kiting and pretty much what the other class has over what Barbarian doesn't. Now let's take a look at the each and every class there is in the game. There is Fighter, Rogue, Ranger, Wizard, Cleric, Bard, Warlock and the Druid. First thing first, let's talk about two the strongest classes in the game that there is. It's a Bard and it's a Warlock. Bard, well, it's an S tier class. It's slightly less OP than currently Warlock is. The Warlock is the strongest class there is in the game. It has everything you want to ask and each and every build you make on a Warlock is just going to be broken. Whether it's going to be a simple heat drop plus life drain or the demon form build or caster lock, each and every build there is in the Warlock is broken. It just arguably the most broken class there is in the game. This class has like the only soul counter and that's in case if you don't have much move speed that's gonna be the rogue. Pretty much the rogue with the cutthroat could be a threat to warlock but only only if you didn't you know if you're not cautious enough. If you're a cautious warlock there is no class that possess you any threat other than maybe bart a little and ranger if you step in a trap but still likely you'll get away. So yeah, the Warlock counters each and every class with this. This is why the Warlock is an S, S, Tannis tier, plus, plus level class, God tier, straight up. If you've seen Repo's um, tier list, you may probably actually realize, I mean, notice he probably said something about it as well. Warlock and the Bard, two classes are the strongest, the strongest classes there is in the game. And by the way, in the Repo's tier list, Barbarian was the weakest one. Now, at a time, I I strongly disagree with it because, you know, listen, I was playing Barb, I was having a good time. But um, the more I played Barb, the more I realized that Repose was actually so fucking right, holy fuck. And the thing about it is Barbarian is actually not that strong because each and every class currently, currently has something to put up against Barb. And Barbarian as a class doesn't really have much. So pretty much... Before I get to the Barbarian point, let's talk about the other classes and what they can offer against Barb. Let's go to a Cleric. Cleric could build PDR very easily and pretty much when you build up a PDR, well, you're still going to be fairly fast. Well, you're not going to be very fast, but well, if you're going to encounter Barbs, when the only thing Barb has is just to run at you and try to attack you, Pretty much you're gonna win this encounter as a cleric. Whether you're gonna play with a smite, divine protection, or judgment, all those three perks even combined together gonna outperform and out DPS and out stat check barbarian. So pretty much cleric is the hard counter to barb because of the amount of stats you're gonna have. And just barb doesn't really have nothing to deal. If barbarian will chose to throw Francesca axes at you, 
you will simply pull out your cock out and will start fucking mm, and will just heal yourself up you know and for example all right so we mentioned cleric we mentioned bard oh my bad we mentioned cleric we mentioned warlock now it's time to mention bard bard has a lot of spells and those spells well songs and those songs not only gonna buff you but also will decrease the power of the classes you're gonna be fighting with that is why the bard is an s tier class because of couple of things shriek of weakness ability to use rapier and the buckler which gonna give you a lot of physical damage reduction but before you get to the melee fight you also have a survival bow that is just way too op but before you get to that point you're also gonna cast a number of abilities such as shriek of weakness and um ability from the uh, loot that will slow everyone down so not only you're gonna buff yourself up to the point when you're gonna be at 150 health and 40 percent pdr attack super fast hit fast move fast have a good range ability it's like combine everything together and here we go we have a bard which is why bard is s tier class it's been s tier for half a year it's not not even for half a year the bard was s tier for a year straight one of the strongest classes in the game still remains stuff doesn't change bard is the strongest class in the game and nothing has changed in this meta for a whole year bard was initially originally supposed to be an s tier class but uh i mean support tier class but listen this class is just so out of control that um, developers doesn't know what to do and how to fix this class but oh well that's the reality we'll live in that's okay so pretty much if you think of a bard bard is a better fighter by it bard is a better rogue is a better ranger and can deal pretty much with all the other bullshit okay so now we're gonna move on to the wizard no matter what you're gonna tell me, a geared wizard counters bard straight up, like to eliminate bards. Like a decently geared wizard against a decently geared bard will not give even the slightest chance to a bard. No matter what you're gonna tell me, I played this game long enough to fucking say one thing for sure: wizard can spin barbarian on a dick. Like if you're not running iron will, even if you are running iron will couple of zaps or fireballs from a distance will put barbarian in its place which is the bottom tier the bottom food chain maybe maybe withered versus barbarian in the low tier lobbies when you're starting out will feel like you know withered is weaker compared to barbarian but in reality in reality it is but only when two things gonna match one you don't have experience two you don't have gear when you have both barbarian is not a problem all right we move on to the next class ranger ranger has a very good range ability to push people away and traps on top of that ranger is a very fast class and um, you usually will build up move speed so pretty much if barbarian mess up once if doesn't if barb doesn't kill ranger within the first half a second after like achilles strike this is it Ranger will get away and Ranger will punish every single step Barbarian gonna make. So pretty much Barbarian will become a, you know, target practice for Ranger. And pretty much that's just gonna be it. Um, so we have already five classes that could deal with our fellow Barb. A Rogue. We all love Rogue. Recently Rogue got slightly buffed and I'm happy for Rogues. But there's one thing that I'm not happy is the ability of a rogue to ambush and land bind people. Even though a lot of people did say that, uh, hey, this class, um, you know, is OP, blah, blah, blah. It's meant to assassin. And hear me out. I played rogue for a thousand hours. I was maining rogue. I went for um, the number one leaderboard spot and I ended up being the second. And pretty much I ended up at 16 or 1700 kills which was uh 600 ahead of all your favorite streamers that there is in the game that are streaming twitch such as akira etc but i do remember akira because you know he is such a cool guy though but uh, yeah pretty much i was fighting with the other guy as a rogue like you know was hunting for as many kills as possible at, at a time at a time rogue was really strong and even though then you know rogue for example couldn't deal with um, some of the classes like uh wizard or fighter but still it doesn't matter pretty much the thing is the rogue is an assassin class and there's one thing 
that you're kind of supposed to do is to assassinate. But the problem is when you don't give a single chance to counterplay, well, the rogue becomes a problem. And right now, rogue is a problem to a barbarian. For example, if you're playing on a barb with a felon axe, if you hit, if you don't land a single headshot or a single, I mean, or double body shots against a rogue, the rogue will stat check a barb. Yes, this is a sad reality. And the rogue that is just gonna could simply land mine barbarian because it's just better. The rogue could start, could build a decent amount of health, and uh, if rogue doesn't mess up, one headshot and a couple body hits is going to be more than enough to deal with barb. So at a moment, even though barbarian can kill a rogue, the reality is if the rogue doesn't mess up, the barb doesn't stand a chance. And we come to the natural counter to barbarian. A fighter. Just a very simple class that could stack PDR heavy range and basically the PDR is one of the main aspects that counters directly Barbarian. And pretty much maybe in the low end gear, in the low tier gear, Barbarian is a decent class but when it comes to um, even ground to the same gear level, high gear Barbarian doesn't stand a chance against all of these classes, not even slightest chance. And low tier Barbarian is just, uh, you know, like gonna absorb all the damage and die. Simple as that. That just unfortunate, unfortunate reality um, that we kind of live in as all Barbarian players. Like each and every class have something to say to Barb. And as of right now, Barbarian maybe could with a very specific build could probably be um more of an assassin class that could run at max move speed if you build each and every piece with a move speed but the problem is every single other class could do the literally exact same now we're gonna it's just gonna be the gear diff you know if you build your barb to be super fast you will be able to just keep kill, kill a couple classes because you're gonna be fast but if for example um anyone has pdr you're just not gonna really stand my chance <laughs> And that's just the reality. Barbarian is um, squishier than majority of the classes there is in the game because um, before you get to the fight, before you get to the fight, you're just gonna get cocked. You know, you're just gonna get dicked on. That's just the reality. But there is one problem. There is one problem. The current melee game is kind of on fire. This game was originally intended to be, you know, to be melee oriented. But right now, there's just so much stuff going on that the melee fight in Dark and Darker is kind of dead. It's gonna be most of the time the caster fights versus the survival bow fights versus the range fights versus the cleric they're gonna cast judgment versus, you know, druid. Well, druid probably gonna got kind of got it out as well. But uh, still, you know, pretty much all of this, even the rogue, even the rogue has a lot of utilities when it comes to range fights because they could at least use the crossbow and a decent more or less rogue gonna bring a lot of throwing knives with them and that just puts the melee class every class that is supposed to do, supposedly be strong in the melee class you know as a melee like is just not in the meta and um which kind of puts which kind of puts barbarian to be uh, slightly lower than a b tier and there is nothing lower than the B tier, which is there is no class that is lower than the B tier at the moment. And there is no classes in the B tier other than a fighter, which um, doesn't build, doesn't do the right build. The fighter with the right build with the rondel and the buckler will be an A tier. Every other class will be A tier. And uh, pretty much the bard with warlock is going to be S tier. Rogue probably could be. Um, with a good gear, it's A tier as well. Barbarian in the um, low B to C tier class right now because everything else has something to deal with other classes while Barbarian doesn't have shit. Anyway, I just want to quickly conclude the video and um, this is basically the opinion of a person who played this game for over 3000 hours as well as played a lot of games on a rogue. And that's pretty much kind of sums up the whole video. Anyway, it's demo. I'll see you in a dungeon. I gotta think whether or not I wanna keep playing on a bar because right now, if you're gonna play on a cleric, you're just gonna have a lot more chances, you know, for survival. You're gonna have a lot better time. If you're gonna play any other class than a barb, like, you know, you're gonna have a better chance. Anyway, it's demo. I'll see you in a dungeon. Peace out.